Hi, so as you know, science involves a lot of trial and error. This week, I was trying some things in the fantastic experiments with forces, and a couple of these things were pretty fun, involving empty juice containers, or empty soda bottles, and they involved doing these activities where the water can spout out, so doing them outside is good. I had difficulty making it work correctly, so I thought I would do some little crafts for the holiday. An idea for maybe when you have people over, or if you can have people over, or even just for your own family, you might have some little flower pots in like your garage or somewhere in your cupboards, and you can use these to make little candy dishes on the table to put on the table. So I thought this was such a cute idea. This one I got from crazylittleprojects.com and I'm gonna make a reindeer. So what I need is glue. Of course I always need scissors of some kind. Uh, I need felt because I'm gonna put eyes and a nose on here. And I need type cleaner. So a few months ago for Halloween, we had lots of pipe cleaners. I still have some of those. I also had googly eyes. I still have some of those. So we can use two pipe cleaners to make antlers for this reindeer. So I've got the little planter pot. I've got the pipe cleaners. I grab my glue, I grab my good safety scissors, these are safety, and I made my, got my face ready. I had googly eyes, but I thought I would use felt today. So, so I wanted to get, I wanted to put some candy in this right away, but I don't have it yet, so I will do that later. So this will be a Rudolph with a red nose. If you have a grown-up to help you and you have a hot glue gun, that will be really super. It'll stick really well. But you know, just regular school glue feels like it's going to stay on pretty well. So there's my go my googly eyes, or my eyes that I made. Here's Rudolph's red nose. And I think I just need two pipe cleaners. So one, I'm going to cut in both of them in half. And this is where the glue may be harder to make it stick. I may also use tape to make sure it's secure. And I have gloppy glue, so... And then the other part I'm using to make the little antlery part. I actually only need about two-thirds of this one. I'm going to twist it around and make my little antlery part. And that's definitely better to do before I, I glue it. And then I glue it on. I'm going to use some tape to hold it in for now. So I got the idea, as I say, After looking through my books and looking through my, my science books and my craft books, this time I got the idea from Crazy Little Projects, my other antler. Probably only need two-thirds of this second half, or a third of the big one. And I'm going to make it into like a little antenna. 
so that I have my other antler. I'm going to tape, glue this on. This is definitely where the hot, hot glue would be nice because hot glue will just stick right on right away and hold it there. So there's my Rudolph. So I made this Rudolph with the little planter pot. But I was thinking that's useful if you have some at home. But your parent, your grown up, may not want to go out and buy these. But I was thinking, I have a lot of yogurt containers at home. I buy a 12 thing of 12 from Costco, so I have all these yo little yogurt things. So I wash them out, soak them in bleach so they're really, really clean. And then I could make a smaller candy dish. And this is maybe a better size if you're putting them all on the table. Because this is, I don't know, four inches tall. This is just two inches. So if I do that, then I could just use felt around the edge of my cup if I want a brown reindeer. Or I could make a little sort of a snowman's head and put a little scarf around the bottom and still put on the googly eyes and attach the antlers if I'm doing antlers or a little scarf if it's a snowman scarf or put little ears and a hat if you want it to be an elf so I wanted to remind you guys that you can get a little activity kit from the library we are open next week and the following week Usually we close the last two weeks of December, but we have the activity kit, and then there's more coloring and ornaments. Uh, and make a do-it-yourself ornament. So give us a call at 510-620-6557, and have a happy holiday.